almost everyone knows by now that President Zelensky, president from uh, Ukraine, asked for, for help. And I thought that coming, you know, uh, for me as an artist will be contributing to uh, everything that is happening here. Maybe it's just a little bit that I can do. I came to uh, make a painting, but I wanted to come right to this place because this is where, um, uh, you know, the uh, images that I got when I was in Mexico, you know, where all the people were under the bridge. President Zelensky mentioned about the Guernica on the media, and I figured maybe I should paint not exactly the uh, replica of the Guernica, but with the elements, because this, that story is so tied up, it, you know, it's so connected to what is happening now. So uh, here he is, and uh, hopefully I'll, you know, I get to finish it in the next couple of days, and all depends on the weather. The Garnica is uh, monochromic. I'm going to, you know, bring my own uh, uh, interpretation, my own composition, but also using those elements. And if, you know, one of the first things that, that people notice when, just, when they see a piece is color, and what happens is the Ukrainians are winning, I hope they win, and hopefully we don't get to see more, you know, people die. So uh, color is really important, and the spring is around the corner, and it's also a sign of hope, and I hope it's, uh, there is like they see the uh, light at the end of the tunnel. This is uh, a living testimony of the things that have happened and it's really for me a cry for justice. This will be right here like the aggressor, like Instead of the seeing the ball on my left side, then it'll be on the ground in in in, in, a, in a depicting like like the Ukrainians being like pushed down. But at the same time, they're coming back to respond to the to the aggression. And this side right here, what it looks like a women that we know from Ganika that is like coming out of you know somewhere, you know coming surprised for the things that are happening. So um, uh, I have you know holding the uh, soldiers' hand, lifting it up in a way to, to say, we're gonna rise up.